Like you have everything that you need right now. You know, I like to say, you know, we're perfectly imperfect, infinitely divine. Like we have everything we need because we have breath and we have these brains and we have these hearts and souls, if that's what, you know, you choose to believe and spirit. And and really, even if you don't, like we're made of stardust, like we have life force energy in us. We are like 85% water or something crazy like that. <laughs> like, so we're moved by we're we're as moved as the ocean is, okay? And that is science, right? Like the the moon and the tides and everything. Like, so there is magic within us. There's hope within us. There's life always. You know, there is 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 this life force energy. As long as there's breath in our body, there's hope. And and there's a way. And and we, you know, I just really want people to know that that like you're made the way that you're made on purpose. And you can trust that. And just the more we can pour love on everything, like the easier life will be. And for me, when I have moments where I feel like I can't help certain people, like just out of my depth, because I'm not a professional anything, you know, <laughs> it's like, it's like a, I, you know, I'm a very curious, passionate person that just follows her heart to the next thing and, and just wants to make the world a better, happier place. Like that, that's what I'm doing or trying to do. But there are plenty of people where I'm just like not equipped, you know, and, and that can feel hard. Or like I said, when I'm going through through my own personal losses, like I am right now, you know, it's I want to skip it. I want to skip the pain part. I want to get out of it. But by trying to get out of it and bypass it and jump over it or like hide from it or whatever, I'm actually making it last longer, which is ridiculous. But it's like, I'm really, really, really now trying to practice what I preach and really just stay with the pain. And and because it, it is all temporary, you know, even if it's years, it's not forever, you know, and and even in the moments where there's pain, there's also mm. beauty. There's also joy. When I when my dad was sick towards the end of his life, like we and my dad was hilarious anyway, you know, he's just he was just a very positive optimistic beautiful soul that just was like fascinated by literally everything was like a party <laughs> for him even going to surgery they were rolling him back and he threw through like two peace signs in the air and he was like deuces and he was like oh my gosh like you could die today what are you doing like hello he they called him back for surgery and he just like wow. walked he didn't even like give us a hug he just was like walking towards all the experiences you know so it's just he was amazing but but there were moments that were like really hard and really sad and really scary. And he was like not well. And I remember one time I was pushing him in a, I was taking him out of a, I don't know, some kind of scan or something. <clears throat> and it was, you know, I don't think any of us really knew how bad it was. You know, we kind of get into protection and denial and stuff. Human. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but I remember I was just me and him. Everybody else was like waiting outside or in the car or something. And, and I was taking him out of getting a scan. And he was in a wheelchair at the time because it was just too hard to walk with whatever was going on and we were in I don't know they like let us out the back way or something so we were just in this long ass corridor in the hospital and nobody was there and I was like you ready he goes yeah and I was like let's go and I just pushed him and I ran as fast as I could like a roller coaster we both like mm -hmm. you know and so we just like ran down the hall in the corridor nobody was there I mean it was probably not the safest people could have come out the doorway but whatever we had a great time nobody was hurt and we were just like giggling, mm. you know, and it was just like this little slice of joy and life. And and was there hope? Maybe, but probably not, you know, but it was like, let's mm. just make like you're here mm -hmm. now. Like you're still here and you're still you and I'm still me. And this is how we jam. And like, there's always joy to be had. There's always beauty to be found. Like you, you can you can choose what you bring to the moment. Do you know? Like, again, so much is out of our control. And, and one last thing I would like to leave people with is it's really about intention over expectations. Wow. Yeah. Because if you if you show up expecting a bunch of shit, like you're going to be disappointed because life is disappointing. <laughs> people are disappointing and it's all out of your control. But you can show up with your intentions. You can show up how you want to show up. You can show up saying no matter what comes at me today or how it works out like i'm going to show up with integrity joy love service optimism i'm going to get a good night's sleep you know like i'm going to be ready for this day and whatever gifts are waiting for me and i have enough faith and trust in myself that i know i can get through anything because i will meet myself with this space and this grace and this love and that's all we have and we all have yeah. it. like it's all we have but we all have it <laughs> Yeah. 
and we can we can we can spread that in the world by giving it to ourselves first and that is mm -hmm. enough that is how we can lead is by loving ourselves